In this demonstration, we'll learn about a bit about barcode setups and we'll create a barcode for a product as well. We can see how we can accomplish that. So we're going to go to our navigation pane and then in the retail module here, let's find, we can find barcodes and labels in here and go to barcode setup. So we have the barcode setup page up now here for us. And on the left side, we can see all of the existing barcodes that we have in the system. So we have one for size, color, style. We have that EAN 13 one. We used this one earlier. So that's going to be used on items. We also have one for discount codes. So instead of creating a new barcode here, we're going to talk about one of our existing ones. So I'll choose one here and let's click the edit button. So when we're working with barcodes, we want to make sure that we have a good description that explains what the barcode setup value that we entered in here. So they can sometimes not be very clear or we have to use shorthand like we do with this size, color, style one. So we can then say what the full name of each of these is in our description. After that, it, it's going to ask us to choose our barcode type. So that's where EAN 13, that barcode type we used earlier, that's where this would apply. So this barcode in particular uses code 39 as our barcode type. Now for our mask ID then, it has a mask ID set to size, color, and style. So we could use any of these other mask IDs here if we needed to though instead. So then it's gonna ask us what font that should be used on this. So this is gonna tell us here, this font that we're looking at, it's the ratio uh, between the broad and narrow elements. So we have different ratios that are going to be set up here and everything. And so we can leave this one set as is. And then it also asks us to choose the, si the, the size for the font. So it's set to 60 on that. Now, as far as the barcode here, the length of it, we can determine the number of characters that the barcode can contain here. So if we have a, a minimum length here of zero, we could have a barcode here that is just zero characters then whereas the longest we could have it is be 13 characters. So if I had set this to 13, for example, here, that would mean that we only accept barcodes that are 13 characters long. So yeah, we couldn't have a, a barcode that was any less or any more than 13 characters, basically. So we can set this back to zero how it was before. And then I'm just going to click Save here to make sure everything is saved as is. So let's see then how we can create a barcode for a product. So to accomplish this, let's go back to our navigation pane and we're going to choose barcodes in the barcodes and labels section. So here we can set up barcodes for our particular items here. So we can add one by just clicking new. So this is allowing us to choose our item that we'll be working with. So we'll select this first item here and there's no configuration, size, color, or style that's going to be necessary on our item but we are required to choose the barcode setup here. So we can choose what barcode setup we need. So let's choose EAN8, let's say. And then it's gonna ask us to choose our barcode here in this, this field here. And let's choose this barcode here for EAN8, that barcode setup. We wanna utilize the same barcode that has the same setup as well. It'll give us more consistent results here. So there's our barcode entered in here. We wanted to just apply this barcode to a specific quantity. We could set that up here as well. And we can also determine the unit that's being used here. So we'll keep it set to each in this case for our item. And the last thing we could set on our, our item barcode here would be a variant number. So our item here doesn't have any variants set up, so we can't actually choose any variant numbers, but we could just choose to apply this barcode to a particular variant of an item. It doesn't necessarily have to be the item as a whole. And then once we're done creating our barcode, we can click Save.